Welcome to Redefining Medicine, an intimate and personalized program that illustrates a different side of the practice of medicine. Our in-depth conversations will focus on the physicians and practitioners who are redefining medicine through their integrative, functional, and holistic approach to health and well-being. Our host for Redefining Medicine is Dr. Erica Schwartz. For more than 20 years, Dr. Erica has been at the forefront of advanced patient care, taking the best from conventional and integrative medicine and applying them to prevent disease. Dr. Erica is a distinguished A4M faculty member in disciplines ranging from hormone therapy, peptide therapy, and IV nutritional support. Hi, we're in Las Vegas at Longevity 24, and it is the most amazing of all experiences I've ever had with A4M. And it's more than 7,000 people here. The speakers are unbelievable. The world is changing. Healthcare is changing. And to help me talk about it is Dr. Stephanie Ben Watson. Great to be here. It's great to be here with you again. Um, tell me, what have we discovered recently? Talk to me. Tell us, yes. tell us all yes. the great news. Right, so it all started with dolphins. I love you, the right? story. You, we've got the, you got, I always have to talk about the dolphins. Yeah, you know, I went home and I ordered um, yeah, Fatty 15 immediately. <laughs> so, so. so there you go. And so, yeah, made the discovery uh, as a veterinary epidemiologist with the dolphins. Beautiful. We found dolphins age a lot like us, which isn't too surprising because they're large-lived, long-brained mammals. So they get high beautiful. cholesterol and... Yeah, and they're yeah, they're beautiful and amazing. So, so uh, long story short, we were able to do these metabolomic studies to find what predicted which small molecules predicted the healthiest aging dolphins from their all-fish diet. And lo and behold, there was C15, an odd chain saturated fat, was the top predictor of the healthiest aging dolphins. We moved that pure C15 uh, into the lab thanks to the Navy. So all of this was to help Navy dolphins, which is amazing. And for the next 10 years, we worked with the Navy to help optimize C15 as this pure ingredient and now emerging as the longevity nutrient for an upcoming book from Simon & Schuster. Tell me about it. Yes. <laughs> Funny you more. should ask about the book. So, <laughs> yes. So we've learned a lot. The, the, the nice thing, Eric, is since the last time we talked, that um, you know, it's C15 uh, research first started with us, with the dolphins, but now the whole world is working on it. And you know, when you make a discovery, and at back then it was the first essential fatty acid to be discovered in over 90 years, right, since it made right. three. So this is huge. And what you really need after making that initial discovery is like, well, when the rest of the world works with it, what do they see? And that's the real test. So tell me about yeah. it. Yeah, and so what's been really exciting is that the world's been working on C15, and they are coming back doing independent evaluations, publishing in peer-reviewed papers, and they're saying, yeah, indeed, C15 meets the criteria of being an essential, which means our bodies have to have certain levels of it, and if we don't, we can develop a, a deficiency syndrome, and it's what we're calling cellular fragility syndrome, uh, the first to be discovered in 75 years. Tell me about that yeah. cellular fragility syndrome, yeah, so, please. So, because nobody really wants fragile cells, I'm guessing it's easy easy to know, but it's like um, vitamin C deficiency in Zagrovi and vitamin D deficiency in rickets. This is C15 deficiency and cellular fragility syndrome. So, and people didn't know that that's what caused the cellular fragility before? That is correct. It's, okay, so tell us about how that came about. So what we learned was we had um, cellular fragility syndrome is when we were finding in the dolphins when the cell membrane or cell membranes mm -hmm. have too little C15 in it. And C15's primary role is really to serve like as a brick, an armor that helps stabilize our cells so they aren't susceptible to lipid peroxidation, fall apart, all the downstream things that happen with aging and chronic diseases. So we discovered in the dolphins that there was this really unique syndrome that was happening in the dolphins, about one in three of them, where they were getting these fragile cells, specifically red, including red blood cells. They were getting liver iron overload, high ferritin, increased levels of liver enzymes, and fatty liver disease. And it was popping up at, at a time that coincided with when the Navy changed the fish, and it ended up that the fish that the, Na that the Navy dolphins were eating 
had a lot less C15 than they used to. So Interesting. yeah, we were able to work over the next 10 years all the way into the lab and now clinical trials in humans showing that we need to get our C15 levels up, whether you're a dolphin or human, up to a specific level to fix a deficiency, get our cells re-strengthened to prevent this whole new form of cell death that was discovered by Columbia University called ferroptosis and figuring out that ferroptosis, the cell death, is actually caused by C15 deficiencies. So the good news is fixable. No, fascinating. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about it. Yeah, so when we talk about, you know, so when we're looking at, when you're looking at your patients, um, it's the, the, that if they have cellular fragility syndrome, what you'll see is, well, first you can test for C15, is included in a lot of fatty acid panels. So C15 can be, is included in those measurements. People need to have at least 0.2% of C15 in their cells to keep them stable. Mm -hmm. And if they, uh, and then if they don't, then you start seeing increased levels of lipid peroxidation. You see, have fragile cells uh, that leads to increased um, liver iron deposition. So you'll see that as increased ferritin. So we see a lot of increased ferritin, and mm -hmm. nobody knows what to do with it. So now you're saying we do know what to do with it. We do. Just C15. C15. So exactly. So it's a pairing of the recommended tests are measure C15 levels, uh, see if they have less than zero or around 0 0.2. Would that be with like a regular lab like Quest or? Yeah. So um, like Quest Diagnostics or um, uh, uh, LabCorp, Quest, who would do that? That Genova Diagnostics Genova, yeah. has a, and mm -hmm. in fact they have an at home mm -hmm. test, but in your clinic you can you, just know, you can do a fatty acid. Just, okay. Fa yeah. It's part of the NutraVal right, that they right, have. So right. you can get C15 measure there, see if they have less than 0.2%. Um, we know that supplementation with C15, which is a big reason why the Navy helped make us this, make this optimized supplement. Right. We know that there have been two clinical trials that it raises the C15 levels, that it lowers liver, if you get above that critical threshold, it lowers your liver enzymes, lowers LDL cholesterol, improves the gut microbiome, all within um, 12 weeks. So it's really ferritin. amazing. Ferritin, so here's the tricky thing about ferritin. Once iron goes in, and it's now sitting deposited in your right. liver, right. with the dolphins, we actually used phlebotomy. So we just, really? like bloodletting is the humans. way to, like, to help draw the iron out. Right. And so once the iron's there, then you'll probably need to use other modalities to help get the iron that's there out. But what's really important is that it will stabilize the cells and it'll prevent the problem. From, from getting, getting worse. But what do you do with the problem that exists? With regard to the hyperferritin. Yeah, yeah, the hyperferritin. So now it's looking at, and, and you can actually do phlebotomies. Phlebotomies can be used to treat iron overload. Right, but what that's like thoughts? impatient. Well, my question yeah. is like, how do you do it in patients with normal hemoglobin hematocrits? You, yeah. I mean, right. what's so, the issue there? So one thing you can do is they can have normal hemoglobin and hematocrit because it's it's more like looking at a trend over time. Right. It's right. very subtle. Mm -hmm. A lot of the dolphins didn't have anemia. Right. But when we looked what at them have? over a long period of time, we saw this subtle decrease. You'll see an increased red blood cell distribution. I width. was going to say red blood cells. And right. if you see that, right, right. that's a huge hint. And that's where C15, you can step in and intervene before the problem. Before the deposition of the yeah. ferritin. And that's very interesting because we were talking a lot yeah. about how many patients we see with high ferritin levels okay. and no one has any idea of what to do with it. Yeah. And now we're starting to um, short a phlebotomy, I think. Short a phlebotomy, is just, and the biggest thing is like, let's stop this from happening. Right. So as soon as you see those signals, right. Uh, right, then you know, and to test for C15, fix the C15 deficiency. And then what's even better is that now we've optimized the C15 molecule so that we can actually get to optimal levels to do better than just fixing a deficiency, we can actually extend health span and longevity. Right. And that was the end game for the Navy's investment, right? I'm the sure. Navy's like, well, we could you know, go back to eating foods to fix deficiency, but can we use this molecule in isolation and actually find a way to help make cells stronger, longer, so that that helps dolphins and people preserve their use. So we make a joke of this is uh, the first uh, supplement in which no humans were harmed in the making of this dolphin supplement. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, amazing. Um, I wanted to ask you something else about the C15, the product. Mm -hmm. um, so it's interesting because when we're talking about all kinds of omegas, you, you know, they're all in gel caps. 
This one is a capsule with powder in it. Yeah. What's the bioavailability? What's what's behind it? Talk to right. me about that. So we know <clears throat> we have a, a lot of knowledge behind uh, C15, and which is why it works. So half of the people who take fatty 15, you've been experiencing it. Um, you'll feel benefits within two weeks, 72% mm -hmm. within 16 weeks, and then now the clinical trials. So it's um, a free fatty acid form. Because it's a saturated fat, it's not an oil. Right. So it has no double bonds. So, so that's a powder, important. right? right. So, powder. so that... it's not susceptible to lipid peroxidation. And um, it's able to, we know that there are extensive clinical trials done knowing that in this free fatty acid C15 form, every 100 milligrams of C15 that you take of fatty 15 increases your levels by about 1.1%. It's a very consistent uh, bioavailability of C15, which that's is important. really important. That's really very important. helpful. That's really important. Well, I have to tell you, I'm a fan of, you know, Fatty 15. I'm a fan of your story and I'm a fan of you. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful being here.